What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You Hello, know, everyone. People. Hello. How's everybody doing? Connecting. It's always, it's always a pleasure to have everybody connected on to our virtual seminar, man. It's always, we always connecting. We always getting the goal. Um, as always, man, I just want to let y'all know, man, we've been getting so much great feedback from our virtual seminars. We've been moving so many unturned rocks. We've been moving so many, forget the rock, we've been moving so many unturned voters. There's been so many people investing. There's been so many logic there's so many people chasing dreams, you know, because of our seminars and be motivated because of our seminars. So from that standpoint, I really just want to thank all you guys for joining on. Everybody that has just been, you know, tuned in for the last six weeks. We was on week six. Um, so I just want to, you know, shout out that. We still got people joining on. So as you guys join on, man, make sure you guys blow that chat up. If you've been on our seminars for these last five weeks you already know the drill man post your websites post your social medias post any upcoming activities or events that you guys got coming up post any good news that you have you know especially right now we need as much positive energy as possible right now it's the devil working so hard there's so much going on in our communities uh, right now so you know again Blow that chat up, man. Take this time to blow that chat up. Post your websites. Post your um, social medias. Post any good, you know, news that you got this week. Any good promo deals that you have. Any new products. Any new services that you have that you guys may have. Any new skills that you guys may have uncovered. You know, post everything, man. Again, I still got people tuning in to the seminar. So make sure you guys post and tune in to that chat and post um your social medias post your websites um and make sure you guys not only post your social medias and post your website but go on there and follow somebody that you're not already following man we got so many people from all over the world on the seminar right now um and still people tuning in we three minutes in and i, I look like everybody ain't just been on time so um you know that just speaks numbers right there so again if you just tuning in make sure you post your social medias Make sure you post your websites. And again, I just post. Follow somebody else's social media. Follow somebody else's website. Log on because you never know who you're on this seminar. We got a lot of bosses on this seminar. We got a lot of great people, a lot of influencers on this seminar. So I just want to make sure you guys take taking advantage of what the seminar is about. The whole point is to connect. So I want you guys to blow that chat up, connect with, even if you connected before with this person, follow up with that person. You know, we ain't doing no fake social media networking, no fake Hollywood networking. Um, let's follow up, man. Shout out for Everlens Photography. Um, shout out Sinead Mills, one of our original brand ambassadors. Shout out Let's Cam Design. Shout out Jay McCray Styles. Uh, shout out Christopher Williams, man. Um, again, we are actually going to have him speak today. He actually been a silent assassin. Um, <laughs> on our seminar for the last few weeks, but I definitely appreciate you for tuning in, man. Um, shout out to Precious, man. Um, she hit me up. She made sure she hit me up, like Christopher. Make sure you get him the link. Make sure he log in. Uh, you know, and you know, I definitely want to get y'all, y'all, you guys on there. Get, give you guys the floor on the talk about some of the great things that you guys been doing. Uh, shout out to Lindsay Nolan, man. She, that's my baby. She always be tuning in, always supporting. Uh, one of our best brand ambassadors that we had, you know, we met in Fashion Week New York. Um, she is actually representing Indiana, though. So shout out to her. Um, who else we got on here, man? Shout out to Ashante. Um, sh you know, shout out to all of her different products. You know, if you are not familiar, we're actually going to get her a chance. Um, to get the floor and talk about some of her new products that she got out here. Shout out to Zachariah, man, all the way from L.A. Um, international model. Um, he actually had a chance to speak last week um, on the seminar. So if you haven't got a chance, if you wasn't on last week, make sure you check out that recap um, video of that last seminar. So you kind of get 
his perspective on things and you know kind of get an idea of what he got um, going on um uh, shout out cynthia kemp um uh, shout out to jake man all the way in cali as well we actually met in miami last year uh doing art battle um he's actually a media specialist so definitely if jake if you are on man if you hear me make sure you uh post your social media make sure you post your uh, Instagrams and, you know, different things like that, websites so they can get connected with you and see all the wonderful things that you've been doing um, in this last year or so. So um, right now, what I want to do is go right into our open discussion. Um, as you know, we're, we're all about health, beauty, education, and finance. Um, that's all we talk about. I know a lot of people thought we was going to be just covering fashion and the entertainment business, um, but we're covering life, man. We're covering, you know, real life circumstances. Everyone on this uh, seminar is an entrepreneur or some type of boss um, in some type of way, some type of influencer. So, you know, we're really, you know, we, we really in, to, in this. And for the most part, we've really been in it from the beginning to encourage you guys. So for the most part, I actually want to introduce Christopher Williams. And not just only introduce him, but give him a chance to introduce himself and talk about some great things that um his can on. So um let me unmute Christopher so we can make sure I get you logged in real quick so we don't go through back and forth. Can you hear me, Christopher? Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on? What's going on? Uh nothing much just relaxing on this rainy Friday uh afternoon where I'm at. I'm here in Connecticut. Okay. And the- yeah, the weather, uh, today been kind of rainy, thunderstorms, but the weekend's supposed to be nice, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Same here in Atlanta, same here in Atlanta, man. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just, uh, this week been a crazy week with all the protests and everything on. And, and the, finally, people are waking up, not just the black people, but people of all colors and around the world to see what's going on yeah. the way. Blacks are treated here by police in the United States. So there's no news to us, but we knew, we know, we all been tr- mistreated in some way or another. But all right, right. Yeah, that um, the world is recognizing that now. Um, well, anyway, it's been it's been uh, nice being on these uh, conference calls for the past few weeks. I learned a lot meet some interesting people and the ideas and everything. And my, myself, I'm a photographer, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, basically I do photography, but I'm starting now venturing out into video because people are asking me to do that. Right. And uh, it's, uh, I did that in the past, but I'm getting back to that now. <laughs> But uh, the main reason I'm on here tonight is to represent um, Precious Brown from right. Precious Creations. So I'm going to talk about that. Um, I met Precious Brown or maybe about six months ago or more when I heard about her. And I got mm-hmm. to meet her face to face. And she's a fantastic person just to be around her energy and and the way she, yeah, uh, she is. I love her. Shout out to Precious, man. You listen, yeah. I, mean, she, I know she's going to be listening to the recap. <laughs> but she's a beautiful person, definitely, and she about her business. Yes, she is. She definitely is. And the thing yeah. about what I I love about her in her business sense is that if she finds somebody, some way that she can help somebody or to help them improve themselves, she will do that. You know, she will push you, and she has definitely done that for me. She has pushed me, um, right? You know, out of my little comfort zone, <laughs> but it's all right because I'm learning a lot of things and I'm. I'm finding more opportunities. Right. But uh, I'm going to talk about Precious Brown. Uh, right now, I'm the, um, part of Precious Creations team, New York. I'm the manager. And my responsibility right now is to seek out and scout uh, models, makeup artists, hairstylists, and anybody else that's interested in the fashion industry. We're working with our team. And mm-hmm. the main thing that you're going to hear me say is team, because that's what we feel, that's what we are, the team. It's not like, it's not like, okay, that Precious Brown is the boss. She's, she's part of the team too. Because some places you go to, the boss says, do this, do that, and that's it. You know, you you really don't have an input. But with uh, her, you have input. And she shows how she cares about the team. 
And um, she started out, um, well, there's, let me say, Precious Creations team, they have teams in Atlanta, Atlanta, Chicago, and Las Vegas, out in Cali, Detroit, Philly, even Dubai, and also in Paris. So she's, she's known around uh, the fashion world. And she started out just being a, uh, a hairstylist, basically. But now she's uh, moved into uh, doing her own designs. And with the contacts that she has and the exposure she has, that gave her opportunity to, to show her designs. And, uh, and, and her design uh, is uh, PK Creations. Basically, it's crocheting. She crochets. All the stuff is handmade. She does it herself. It's uh, one-of-a-kind designs. And okay. what, what she does about what's different about her, she actually uh, combines the crocheting with other materials, mink, leather, and other uh, fabrics to make it look unique. She does hats, uh, pants, uh, um, dresses, even bathing suits, all types of, of wardrobe she does. And, and um, she started out, like I said, she started out as a hairstylist when she was young. She started doing hair when she was like 15 years old. And then um, her, um, she wanted to be an architect. So she, she actually enrolled in uh, to architecture. Yeah. But it didn't work out right then because her mother had got sick and her mother had cancer. And then she actually, unfortunately, she was sick. And she went through some things herself. So she, had, she just decided, okay, she sat down, she asked her, God, what am I gonna do? So I really love fashion. Is this the way I should go? Of course, you see what happens. She got her answer and she's venturing out into the fashion uh, world. So let me so let me ask you a question, Christopher. Yes. You know, um, you know, we're precious and you know, just the company and the platform that you guys have built, you know, within that with it being international, what's some of the ways that you guys have uh, adapted to the times now, to, you know, with it being a pandemic and, you know, all of these different protests is just popping off, mm -hmm. different entrepreneurs as ourselves are being affected in so many different ways. So what do you feel like that you've been seeing, you know, personally, um, what different ways have you guys have adapted to that? Okay, well, of course, social media, no. Um, that's, that's, you have to be on social media and stay in contact with everybody. Uh, I know like some of the events that we had planned, especially for the New York area, has been pushed back until uh, next year because of the pandemic and different venues and not having uh, the shows and things like that. But there's other things that we're going to, uh, we working with, like um, we, we planning within the next month, hopefully to have a photo shoot in this area for her designs. And we're still reaching out to different people, to um, the models and other people to stay in contact with us. So when we uh, need them, we can contact them. But and on my side, just to look at it as being a photographer, I had since the past few months, I had cancellations and all that. But there's new ways people are coming up. Like the, this, uh, right now, the next, this month is the graduation season. And people are coming up with different unique ideas about uh, celebrating the, gradu the graduates. Like I had somebody call me and says, oh, I, I want you to take pictures uh, of my uh, daughter graduation when she gets a diploma, but it has to be in a course uh, safe manner. So what the district decided, there's a park we, we at a beach where I live at, they're gonna have the students go down there so they can have plenty of space. And, um, and I will be able to take pictures using the telephone lens. <laughs> of the students and then we will go back later when they get to the house and take some other pictures. But um, the, we just pushing out and looking to the future. Not, and, and since we have downtime, we come up with other ideas and different ways to, uh, to promote the, uh, the products in the fashion industry, having the shows. Like we also, we have stuff that's coming up next year. Um, mm -hmm. So coming up and um, that's what we're working on right now. So real quick, Christopher. Last yeah. question I got for you, man. Um, what do you feel like, you personally, what do you feel like is the solution um, to the separation of our community? And I'm not 
I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be more specific. I'm not speaking black and white. I'm mm-hmm. just saying our community is as international uh, entrepreneurs because, you know, once you reach a certain level, it becomes more than black and white for you. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, if you're yes. a real business owner, if you're a real international business owner, and you really have international platforms, and you really are about the people, you are going to be open and you are going to build relationships with different people from different backgrounds, of different mm-hmm. colors, of mm-hmm. whatever. Right. What do you feel like is the general solution? A, or A, or A, not even, because I don't, I don't expect you to, you know, go all the way into that. But what do you feel like is one solution for what, what we're facing right now and which is the biggest problem is, you know, uh, the disconnect that we have. There's a disconnect because of the type of models and, uh, and different uh, designers out there. It seems like a lot of people but here on our side, you know, I say, of, they're all fighting. Some not all fight. Some people fight each other or try to outdo the others. When it comes to models, they try to take models from another designer. Models here don't. They want to showcase themselves, which they don't realize. A lot of times, designers they want their clothes to be showcased, not just the models. Because um, when the model walks down the runway, facts. Yeah. When a model walks down the runway, you're walking for a designer. Facts. You're walking and, for that brand, period. Yeah, you're walking on that brand. And that's what you have to represent. Yes. Some, some models, they push back. I know when I go to casting calls or rehearsals, well, why can't I walk this way? Why can't I walk that way? Because you're taking away from the, the designer's idea of what the clothing should be. And that's Preach. one thing. In Europe, that doesn't Preach. happen. I'm loving it. Don't get me excited. Don't get yeah. me excited, Christian. <laughs> in Europe, that doesn't happen. The models know what they're there for. They know yeah. that, hey, I'm a hanger. Basically, I'm a hanger. These clothes are me. I'm here to showcase the clothes. Speaking, in fashion, speaking fashion show scene. Yes. We talk about, about runway right now. Like, yes. I just had to make that clear because a lot of yeah. models don't oh, yeah. know the, the yeah. difference. Yeah, but the, run, that's right, the runway models, you have right. to uh, make sure that you just, you're a hanger and you represent that clothes. I mean, when it comes to other models, for the most part, yeah, most part, yes. When you're doing like uh, for uh, magazines and stuff, that's different. Then you can yeah. showcase. Models. It's all different, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. But in in Europe, I think they understand that when it comes to runways, walking is uh, they there for the clothes, not just for them. And when I dealt with people down in New York, not the high end shows, but some of the other shows, the intermediate shows, so they, there's an issue sometimes when the models feel like, well. Well, how come they don't like me? How come they want me? Why can't I just go down the, just the runway I want? They don't understand that. That's something they have to learn, you know. Yeah. yeah. And but also, for the most part, yeah. and 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 I, you almost got me excited there because you went there. So, yeah. but for the most part, okay, I'm gonna take it back because okay, go I really want you to expand on in a more general aspect. What do you feel like is the solution with us, period, as a human? species because yeah. modeling modeling and what we do um far as the entertainment is expression right? right and we have to express what's going on in the real world so we can't disconnect too much from the real world right and that's what we have done in these last few years that, and mm-hmm. we have had the privilege to do that we have we have gotten so far away from what everything what advertising marketing mm-hmm. Yes. Entertainment, everything mm-hmm. is, is initially about that because we have had that leeway, we've had that freedom, and we've had that we've had influences exposed a little bit more because of social media, because of TV, because right. of the digital media aspect of it. So we have really lost that aspect and the, the, the general reason why we all a photographer, model, uh, artist, uh, a venue owner, whatever. We kind of lost the reason why this is what it is and what it, and the reason why we even have this industry, the reason why we can even call it an industry. You get what I'm right. saying? That yes. Makes sense. So yes. from there, it's just like, okay, 
how do we get back to what's really important? How do we get back to making fi- uh, managing your finances cool? Yes. Being a good guy cool. Being a, mm-hmm. a, a good girl cool. How do mm-hmm. we uh, make being a business owner and an entrepreneur cool? How do we make make it, uh, taking risks and chances cool? How do mm-hmm. we uh, make uh, not being content cool? You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? How do we yeah. talk about the real problems and not even just talk about them as in an exposing way or as in a gossiping way, but talk about them as, as in a way where we're coming up with solutions? Yeah. You get that's, what I'm saying? How yeah, do we come up with more solutions? The, the thing is, like, we, we um, like you said, the solutions, we have to look at what the problem is and then also not be narrow-minded about how to solve the problem. We have to look everywhere to try to find solutions. Like, like you see what's happening today. Now, some people look at uh, the protests and say, oh, you know, that's not going to do anything. It is doing something, but we right. still need a solution. Which the solution is that the laws have to be changed, the, the policemen have to be trained better, and the justice right. system has to be changed. And that's the thing. That's what people got to realize. And that's really like, like I tell people uh, uh, about voting. You have to vote to, to have a say. If you don't vote and just complain, you're part of the problem. You're not part of the sol- solution. So you right, have to right. take action. We can't just talk. We have to do. We have to go out there and do things. I like that. Do things. And in, in the industry, uh, in, the, in the entertainment industry, or whatever fashion, we have to go out and do. Like if we have a problem with finances, or we can't raise money, you have to you have to sit down and educate yourself on how to do the finances. I and agree. How, and how I to agree. get how to and that's get what we're doing. And that's what yeah. we're doing. That's what, yeah. that's what I so that's what so I real do. quick. So yeah. real quick, because we started a, a little late. I want to just give a a, a a few more people because you know what this is about. You and Christopher, yes. I really yeah. just wanna. For one, I want to appreciate, I want to just thank you for being on and just mm-hmm. tuning in and just seeing it for what it is and being, you know, just participating. That's why I just, I was so open to give you the floor. It was mm-hmm. just no question. No question. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. he actually want to talk. I'm like, bet. He usually be the fandom. <laughs> he be one of our fandoms, but he be tuning in and you be interacting because I can see you and you, you, I can tell that you're interacting with what we're doing. But I want to give, I, we got a lot of people. And okay, yeah. and we got we got about ten more minutes, you know, until we have to flip over to our next session. So I want to get okay more people to like right. chime in on what we were just talking about. Um, so again, you know, blow that chat up if you just tune in. Please make sure if you haven't already, make sure you tune in to that chat. Make sure you blow that chat up. Post your websites, post your social medias, post any questions or concerns that you guys may have. Man, let's let's interact. This whole the whole point of this whole seminar is to interact with each other and connect with each other and really build real relationships. And I really just want to take this time to really um, shout out everybody who actually been participating in the chat. Again, shout out King uh, Zachariah, um, shout out uh, Lindsay Nolan, shout out Christopher once again for his knowledge and just tuning in every week. Shout out Jay McCray Styles, uh, shout out Jenny, man. Um, shout out Lil, Lil Louie, man. Louis the model, go check out my little brand ambassador. He's doing more than most out here, and he's just a little man. So you know, make sure you <laughs> check out all. Of, he actually got a clothing line too, Lock Royalty. So go make sure you guys go check that out too. Um, we got La- we got Glam Life Boutique on. We got uh uh, artists, uh cosmetics. Um, we got Forever Lens Photography. Um, <laughs> we got Lex Cam Design. We got one of our original brand ambassadors on, Janae Mills. Um, who else? Who else we got on here, man? Yeah, man, blow that chat up, man. I see y'all blowing that chat up still, man. Make sure shout out Louis again. Make sure y'all follow. Make sure y'all log on to his clothing line, www.lockroyalty.com. Um, you know, check out his newest apparel. Check out his latest apparel. Check out last year's apparel. It's still hot. So, um, you know, and also, you know. Log into that chat, man. Let us know 
your input and your questions and concerns on the, the, the recent topics that we went in. I actually want to shout out Jake, man. We got Jake on the line. How's it going? Man, I can't complain, man. I really appreciate you for hopping on the seminar, man. I know you're a busy man. I know you've been making all these moves, man. We've been in talks for weeks, really since we met. Like, it really been a consistency since we met in Miami during our battles. Um, I know you're based out of California, you know, so I just really want to give you a chance to kind of get on and um, give the people a little introduction about yourself and your company and the great things that you're doing. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be on this uh, be on this call. It's been uh, I didn't get a chance to be on any of the or any of the live ones yet. I've been l listening to some of the recaps and just been excited to learn and learn about we what, appreciate a lot of different people's businesses and different backgrounds. And it's a uh, it's exciting to have a a way of connecting with different people throughout the throughout the world that are uh, in similar industries and doing similar things that we, we will eventually end up seeing each other lots of different events and things like that being in, in similar industries. So it's, it's a, I uh, appreciate again, the invitation to be on the call and I appreciate you, you, uh, you having the experiences that we had out in, out in Miami and just being as, uh, being as cool as you were. And, and they, uh, man, again, the pleasure you know, is all mine, Jake, man, we, we went crazy in Miami. We had the whole shout out to breakwater hotel. We had mm -hmm. the whole top floor, they wouldn't even believe us if we told us what our experience <laughs> was, man. It was a yeah. whole movie. We had the drones out there. We was on the beach. We was like, it was crazy. So I definitely want to, you know, you know, appreciate you for just humbling yourself because I know you was just making your moves and we was both making our moves and everybody moving around. So it's just important for us to get together of all different backgrounds and, um, you know, just express that and show that, you know, and give people different motivations on how to do that for themselves, you know what I mean? So, um, real quick, Jake, man, like, you know, of all of your, you know, all of your accomplishments, what's some of the ways that you've been able to adapt uh, within all of the things going on within the pandemic and within, you know, all of the craziness that's going on? Yeah, well, I feel like the last, I feel like almost the last 10 years of the, the, the type of trajectory or whatnot that my life is taking me has kind of put me in unique, unique experiences to be prepared for a lot of the things that have been that have happened in my life and have been happening in a lot of people's lives around us and I, uh, I I think what's what would come into play in most would be more the reasons as to why I'm doing what I'm doing I think that's what's what's allowed a lot of the uh, the connections and the things to happen and like learning about feel or learning about listening to the type of stuff you guys have been talking about over the, the last couple of seminars that I've watched the replay of it makes perfect sense now why the universe has brought us together in the way that it has and we've never shared any of these conversations or any of the topics or any of the reasons that i would would say would be the reason that put me exactly in the places that i was when we met you and with the the, the several dozen other connections that are made in that in, the, in that same way over that same period of time yeah. and it's yeah. uh, it's about studying the, the energy and the vibration of the synchronistic moments and really dedicating my life to to fulfilling on, and managing myself as a vibration and as as a vessel that that is this is going to be in lots of different experiences, and I the only thing I have the ability of controlling is what's going on in between my in between my two ears, and just figuring out what how to make sense of what the the best scenario is in the moment, and really being in enough scenarios over the years, um, with uh, with with skateboarding was. was kind of the thing that I developed a lot of that, that, that is I skateboarded for about 15 years and uh, we did it professionally for a couple of years and got a chance to live off of off of the resources of just doing something that I loved on a daily basis and realized that the opportunities kept opening up as I just chose to do something that was in the in the interest of what that 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 guiding feeling in my stomach was or whatnot whether it felt like the right thing to do or not and kind of leading that and then having like blowing my knee and kind of losing those contracts and kind of going up now against a world that was doing what I had to figure out that was what I now had to do versus what was what I had thought my plan was and what I thought my ticket was and everything that I put my whole life and my blood, sweat and tears into. And I didn't grow up listening to music or I didn't grow up watching TV shows or I didn't do anything. I just, I skateboarded 10, 12 hours a day for, for basically until I was tw about 20 years old. And, a, uh, and then one of my losing my contracts, going back to a world where just, going to work to be able to make money and they uh i got recruited by a financial services company i got myself in about thirty thousand dollars of debt at that time and they uh 
I was introduced to the idea of personal finance and learning how to kind of direct money and learning how to look at, again, setting goals and different business plans and personal development and things like that. And at 21 years old, oh my God, Jay, 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 I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt, but look, I just need to ask you a question because we got uh, seven more minutes and for real, okay. and everybody, if you've been on this seminar before, you know, the routine, just click that same link and it'll bring you right back into the seminar. We only get uh, 40 minutes uh, forty minutes per session. So make sure you guys click that link, hop right back into this discussion because we got a lot of great other speakers on. But real quick, Jay, because you really just got me excited with the finance talk. Because this is something that we've been really been talking about, really been digging into. What's the I best- I've for the last couple of days of listening to your stuff. and. <laughs> Man, yeah. and I and I'm, and I and I appreciate you for that. What is the best way that you feel you should manage your finances or invest your finances? I feel like coming to the to the realization as to what the reason for it is is very important. I don't I don't think the like a calorie isn't a calorie. A dollar is not a dollar. I mean, I was in a position where I would be making millions of dollars a year right now. And I chose to I chose to move in a direction where every dollar that I spend also is something that is something that I enjoy doing and that it, it gives me instead of me doing something that I don't want to do. So I have the ability of now doing something that I do want to do. I make sure that they're entangled together. And so every movement forward, whether it's a success, I'm even learning something that's more clear about what I don't want to do or getting a chance to do something more clear that I do want to do. And by constantly refocusing on making sure that just because you don't have to make Every dollar doesn't got to make money, but if you're enjoying the process of it or learning something, then that's that was the point of it in the beginning. And so I think almost I learning that. the basics and then disconnecting from the basics is having to be the only way that it is, the only way that it can work, and then really following your intuition and redirecting back to making the main thing the main thing, which is living your best life and learn how to do that in a reasonable, responsible way. I love it, bro. That, that was definitely a highlight. I'm using that highlight. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, <laughs> We got five more minutes. I really encourage everybody that's on right now. Click again. It takes two seconds, literally, to click that link. If you already been on my seminars before, you already know. Click that same link that you got in the confirmation to hop right back in. We got five more minutes. So what I want to do is, and what I what we always do for these last five minutes, I want to give you guys the chance to blow up the chat, man. And I want to give you guys the opportunity to comment on the things that we've been talking about. You know, especially the things that Jake and Christopher have been talking about um, in these last 35 minutes on, you know, that we've been on this call, really 30 minutes, you know, because, you know, it takes an extra five um, for you late bloomers to tune in. But, you know, I love you all, and we give you guys time to tune in because, you know, we're really talking about some important stuff. So, again, like I said, in the next four minutes, make sure you guys tune right back in. We're going to start the next segment. Um, I actually got some more important, um, guest on, um, we have Darwin on, um, shout out to God is Touch Entertainment, shout out to Jennifer McRae, um, Jay McRae style, uh, shout out to Lex Cam Design, shout out to one of our original brand ambassadors that I actually really want you guys to, uh, hear from her as well, because she's actually an entrepreneur and a business owner as well, um, a very, into, uh, a very intelligent young woman. Um, and, you know, I really want you guys to hear from her and one of our originals that have been around, you know, since we first started, you know, before we had the magazine. Um, shout out to Ashante um, and, you know, Artist Cosmetics. You know, I, I really want to, you know, thank, you know, that company for, you know, all the support that you guys have been supporting. We actually got um, a segment from them. So um, I definitely want to encourage you guys to tune in. Um, shout out to Stephen Washington, man. Shout out to Stephen Washington. Um, for tuning in. He's actually an experienced actor. Um, for those of you that know me, you actually know that you know, we're heavy in the film industry. Uh, we've been working on a lot of different projects um, in the film industry. We've got a lot of different major projects coming out. Um, speaking of that, make sure you guys download Stars. We have a TV show called P-Valley coming out. Um, that's going to be on the Stars. Um, so if you do not have a cable subscription, which I'm pretty sure none of you do, <laughs> it's the new age, it's 2020, um, make sure you guys download that app or uh, <laughs> download it, get it on Roku TV or whatever you got, 
I'm pretty sure you can get Star. It's going to be on Star. It's going to be premiering July 12th. And that's called P Valley. Um, and again, make sure you guys, if you haven't already, make sure you post your social media or your website in that chat. Um, I'm actually going to be sharing that chat in a group uh, chat. I'm also going to be sending that chat out so you, everybody can actually get you guys social medias and uh, websites. Um, and I'm actually excited for this next segment. Again, we have um, a couple, I mean, everybody is special on this call. Let's get this, let's get this, you know, understood. Everybody that's on this call got a personal invite. So, um, but we have some very important information from Darwin um, and a couple other special guests um, that we have on. Um, you know, we got Let Cam Design, we have again Shanae Mills, we got Jay McCray style, uh Jay McCray Styles, we got Goddess Touch Entertainment, uh, we got uh artist cosmetics, we got Steven Washington, we got Zachariah Walt. Um so it's just like, you know, make sure you guys take that, you know, couple seconds to tune right back in and we're gonna start this segment off. Um meanwhile, make sure you blow that chat up so I can save it and send it to you guys. Make sure you blow that chat up, post your websites. Show some media, let's connect. And I also want to shout out Hood Rat Creative, man. We actually did a body paint shoot contest last week. And we actually won. That's crazy. And we actually going to have them tuned in as well in a couple of minutes. So definitely tune back into that segment. If you was on last week, um, you actually got a taste of what Nick Cox had to say. He's actually the head director and CEO of Hood Rat Creative. So, um, and we actually won a, a legitimate contest. So tune in to that next segment. Uh, we got a lot of special and important information that's going on. So again, man, shout out to Lindsay Nolan, one of our uh, close brand ambassadors in Indiana. Um, we met in Fashion Week New York. Um, you know, she's been doing her thing. Make sure you guys follow her social media. If you're listening, Lindsay, if you haven't already, make sure you post your social media and your website so people can follow all the wonderful things that you're doing. She's a beautiful person. Shout out to Christopher Williams, always supporting the brand. Shout out to Precious, always supporting the brand. Shout out to Jake and his, you know, his wonderful words, his wonderful um, information. You know, that's another Jennifer, uh, you know, genuine soul that we have. Shout out to Jay McCray Styles. Um, shout out to Lex Cam Design. Shout out to Forever Lens Photography. Shout out to one of the most beautiful people that I met in this industry thus far. And one of the people that I was blessed enough to meet in the beginning of my career in the fashion industry, Shanae Mills. Um, I'm going to give her a chance to, you know, give, you know, you guys a little information about her. And you can just give a little update because she have a company of her own. She's also an entrepreneur and a boss lady. So I, I want to give her a chance to, you know, talk about the wonderful services that she actually provides. Um, you know, shout out to Ashante, you know, Artist Cosmetics. Shout out to Stephen Washington. Shout out to Zachariah. Um, you know, we got a little bit of everything from all over. And it's just so beautiful because we're in a, in a time in, in an area where we are so divided. And it's important, especially right now, to show people how united we can be in power. Because everybody on this seminar and everybody that we've been associated with, um, you know, is in some type of power or have some type of influence. So it's important to show other people that we have influence too, that we have power too, and that we can also unite together and create something, you know, a little bit more big and create something a little bit more deep. So um, real quick, what I want to do, you know, because you know, I've been shouting out, I actually been shouting out, and again, shout out Artist Cosmetics. I actually been shouting her out for the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've been talking about the new products that she actually um, have available for you guys. And, you know, just we've really been talking about a little, you know, touching a little bit on the, the great services that she's actually been providing um, for our community. So I actually um, got a chance to, and I was blessed enough to get her on the seminar, so I actually want to give her a chance to, um, you know, give a small introduction, kind of give you guys um, a little insight on what she have coming up and, you know, the different products that she has. Do I have you on, Ashanti? Uh-huh, I'm here. What's going on? Nothing, nothing much. I'm glad to be here. Um, hello, everyone. Bless you. <clears throat> um, but just to, I guess, tell a little bit about myself. Um, so I did start off um, with my cosmetic line back in 
2017 and I started, you know, hand making cosmetics from out of my house. And, you know, I kind of, it kind of started off with just, you know, me wanting to make things to help women feel motivated and those women who were either homeless or just going through things who didn't feel confident. So that's how my brand started. And it's, um, I know, you know, don't mean no harm, but it's a Dolce, <laughs> a Dolce Cosmetics. And, um, <clears throat> I just took the leap of faith, uh, last year, you know, to pretty much step away from my job and just solely focus on my cosmetic line. And I can say thus far, it's been the best this decision that I've made. So that's just a little bit that's to tell you guys. That's super yeah. dope. So, so real quick, you know, mm -hmm. being that you are, you know, an independent, you know, black entrepreneur, um, and, you know, emphasis on independent, you know, what's some of the ways that you really been adapting to these times, you know, as far as the pandemic, you know, because I know that had been affecting a lot of entrepreneurs in our group and in, in, in our membership. What's some of the ways that you've been adapting? As far as just like with my business and keeping it going? General, just, keep I both, because your business, uh, uh, you know, you're one of those businesses um that really you know your business is your lifestyle and right when you get to that point when you get to a level of independence that's why i put emphasis on independence because when you're really independent everything is on you right and it becomes a lifestyle you know so you know in general business whatever you feel like you know you can speak on what is some of the way, best ways that you adapt um i mean I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i'm still I'm still adapting because like I said, I'm independent and still, you know, pushing myself to get it out it. there. Right. So it's, I'm still adapting. And, you know, like I said, I, you know, I do what I can and just, you know, word of mouth or just speaking with, you know, people in person, but it's, it's, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't lie and say it hasn't been a struggle for me because it has, but that doesn't stop me. So if you could, you know, give the people a specific, you know, way that, you know, just let them in, you know, because this is what the seminar is about, really get more personal with the audience and with other entrepreneurs, you know, <clears throat> give them a specific way that, you know, if you can, you know, that you specifically adapt it. You know, what's, you know, what's, what's, you know, what's the first thing that come to mind on how you had to adapt, you know, with this change, you know, with the pandemic and, you know, with the change in the economy? Um, because you touched on one that was really important, you know. You know, you touched on really connecting and you know, right. getting with people, and you know, I feel like that that is a big one. Um, but for, for the most part, because you are a cosmetics line, um, and maybe I need to be more specific. I, I had a right. lot of different lines who were. Uh, affecting in different ways, right? <clears throat> a lot more physical, and, and because we were so disconnected from the physical world, it was different ways that you know we had to adapt. You know, mm -hmm. you know, so even with you know our boutiques and different things like that that we own and have different um, partnerships with, uh, you know, we had to adapt in different ways. So you know, what some of the ways? Cause, uh, you know, to be more specific, I, you know, we talked earlier and you was like, you know, you've been shipping out more products. And mm -hmm. I feel like that was a great way because I feel like we slept on mailing out stuff because it got to the point where it was so physical and so personal. And, you know, we even met at one of our events at one of our power shoots in a more personal way. We didn't meet over social media. We didn't right. meet, you know, via website or different things. We met face to face, which is one of the most powerful ways. Um, so I feel like, you know, it was different ways, you know, and I feel like that was the most powerful way that you actually adapted as a company you know by you know and you in one of the ways that you noticed so you know other than shipping out obviously shipping out more product and mm -hmm. you know uh you know we've been doing more product shoots you know uh creating more online content and more digital content other than that what do you feel like you know been different ways that you've been adapting like i said i mean I, I still personally, like I said, um, do the face-to-face -face, uh, handout samples, and I've done more um, 
in this time I've seen myself doing more videos um far as sampling of my products via social media. Right, right. So yeah, I've been more, you know, connecting with my crowd, like I said, doing um makeup tutorials and showing my product. Because I mean, like you said, it's a little, a little tough during this time, but you know, you have to make it work. Most definitely, most definitely. So you feel like being more visual, create more content has really helped you out more right. throughout this pandemic. Um, I mean, obviously, like I said, we've been doing, we, we've done a couple of different product shoots and we, mm-hmm. have, we actually have a couple upcoming product shoots. I actually promoted, um, you know, we've been casting for different times. Um, so if you're on, actually, if you're online, if you're actually, um, it's, you know, interesting in actually uh, casting for um, Artist Cosmetic uh, upcoming uh, product shoot. Make sure you, you know contact us or you know uh, Ashante and Ashante. Make sure you uh, put your um, social media and your website and your contact I info did. in there. So they can, you know, um, you know, make sure you do that so they can contact. And if you haven't already, you know, connected with Ashante, make sure you just follow her social media. Make sure you follow and connect with her um, through our different. Um, through our different connections, you get the DM or email exclusive models magazine or contact her directly and um, we can set you up for that. We can get you casted for that. Um, I should say, I, I really appreciate you for hopping on. Um, you know, I know it's, you know, it's, it's you, it's not the norm, especially for us in our position. You know, we business yeah. people, we always stay behind the scenes. Um, but I really thought it was important to show people like you, um, you know, that's pushing on and that's uh, fighting against the odds, mm-hmm. so to say, and that's successful in it. You get what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you're staying afloat. You're, you know, I've seen so many businesses, and I'm talking about major corporations, fail and close um, because they couldn't maintain, because they didn't have the right people. Um, you know, around them or because they didn't have the right product or the right message behind what they're doing. And that's what I really want to show. And that's why I have a, each and every one of you guys. That's why I keep saying each and every one of you guys on a seminar that I, you know, that we hit up or that you, that you get the, uh, the notifications on our uh, email or our mailing list. You guys are important. There's a reason why we do this. And it's important to show that we have different people like you guys you know, in existence, we're rare, right? So, you know, I, again, I definitely appreciate you for hopping on. Um, again, if you guys haven't got a chance to blow up that chat, blow up that chat, make sure you post your social media, your website. Make sure you guys post any questions or concerns that you may have um, for Shante and, you know, her business as well, because I want to give you guys a chance to connect with her. Um, and if you if you had a chance to log into our website or her social media, if you have any, if you want any of our products, if you're interested in our products, which is high quality, um, I don't I don't definitely for all my models and anyone in the entertainment or beauty industry, you know, you should definitely um, be connecting um, with her on her products because she have um, quality product. Um, I have a couple questions. So how do I get the recap? Yeah, we're definitely gonna send out the recap to everyone who was participating, and even the ones who wasn't. Um, shout out to everybody who actually um, get a lot of information from our recaps. We get a lot of great feedback from our, from our recaps. Um, we're actually gonna get prepared for our next segment. We actually got Nick Cox. That's actually gonna get on. We actually got him available. He actually again. Shout out to Nick Cox for winning um, the high hip rap body paint contest. It really, it really, it wasn't even a body paint contest. It was an art contest, and it was Nick Cox's idea to do a body paint. Let me make that clear, because I don't think people understand. Because a lot of people know that last year we did over sixty. That's six zero body paint segments. So we're we're kind of known for doing body paints but let's make this clear high hemp wraps is one of our sponsors from last year they specialize in cbd wraps 
they did a contest, an art contest. So it was different winners. It wasn't the only winners. They uh, they put up five thousand. Uh, they put up the contest for different art. So they put they they challenged us to create different art containing high hem. And Nick Cox, which is one of our one of our best creative directors, one of our best location managers. I can't even name all the titles that he have. I'm gonna let him get on here in a minute to uh, kind of explain all of that. But he came with the idea of the body paint because we already specialized in it. We killed it, we submitted it, and we won. So we're the champions, we're the winners. Shout out to Nick Cox. We're about to get him on real quick. And um, meanwhile, below that chat up, Submit your social medias, your website. If you have any questions or concerns uh, for any of our previous speakers, um, make sure you guys do that. But what I want to do right now is introduce Big Cox because, and, I, and now what I want to do is, if you guys are hearing me, put a thumbs up in the chat to congratulate Big Cox for winning the high hip contest and just being a great person overall. Um, we had a lot of great feedback from the first seminar that he that he was on. We had a lot of people who actually book consultations with him and inquire on consultations with him and all his uh, resources. So again, put them thumbs up. Yes, yes, yes. I love y'all. I see y'all thumbs up. I'm rocking with it. I love the vibe. I appreciate y'all. If you haven't got a chance, put your thumbs up in that chat. For my dog Nate. Hey, hey, man. How y'all doing? Um, I really appreciate that introduction. And um, I mean, everything Delano said, it make me it make me feel real proud. Um, he tell me all the time I'm too humble. I don't, anybody who was on here, uh anybody who was on the call last week, um, y'all can feel free to go into the chat and uh, you know, and, and, and put a heart, put a purple heart. Um, you know, let me know if y'all was in here last week. But if y'all were, I got a few followers off last week. And I, if y'all were here last week, y'all saw the high hemp uh, body paint. That was what I had did the day before. And the high hemp body paint, like you said, did win the contest. It was a thousand dollar contest down here in Atlanta. Um, I really appreciate what's going on. Everything that's been that exclusive models has been doing, exclusive models magazine has been doing. And furthermore, what Real Deal Productions has been doing, he really came in. He helped me a lot on that because, I mean, he believed in it. I don't know when everybody got connected with Exclusive Models Magazine. Um, I've only been uh, affiliated with Exclusive Models Magazine for about a year now. And Delano, I mean, he's traveling everywhere. Like, if I'm in Miami a lot of times, he popping up in Miami. If I'm in New York Fashion Week, he's there. Um, I know he said he had somebody here from um, Art Basel. Um, so any of those, any of those about Art Basel, South by Southwest, um, Dreamville Fest, you know, um, I'm a Dreamville affiliate. I know he brought that up um, last time. He, he, you know, I, I've been getting a lot of um, a lot of positive uh, feedback. So I just wanted to say that you know I appreciate all that, and I'm. Uh, I'm more than willing to link in with anybody who really linked in with uh, Delano. I don't know how many people are in the Atlanta market. Atlanta is my primary market. Um, I do have other markets um, in other areas of Georgia and, you know, in other cities, um, Detroit, Miami, New York, um, L.A., really just trying to link in, um, Charlotte, Winston-Salem, um, I'm building some in New Orleans with uh with Black Ink. Uh Black Ink Atlanta actually closed down um last week on Memorial uh the day after Memorial the day before the day after Memorial Day. And uh, you know, now we're talking about Black Ink, um, you know, in LA, Black Ink and Rhythm Ink possibly doing a collaboration. So I just wanted to say to everybody who uh, that I appreciate the support, I appreciate the people that share. Um, I appreciate the line off of supporting what we were doing as far as the high hemp contest. It was a, like I told everybody who was on here last time and I'm seeing some of the, I'm seeing some of the people uh, chiming in. 
Um, uh, Zach, Zach saw it, you know what I mean? Um, Ariel saw it. So, you know, people were here and it was, like I say, when I said that it was, not, I won't say a shot in the dark, but when I say it was, uh, it was last minute and we chimed in and we, we linked in with all the artists, um, I'm looking on here. I don't see uh, Jamal or Ray or uh, Darius, but I mean, I appreciate all those guys. I gotta, you know, I gotta shoot out those guys. Um, I know Pee Wee couldn't make it today. Uh, Pee Wee from uh, Lacour in Atlanta. Um, prayers going out to uh, Pee Wee and uh, you know Lacour in Atlanta. Um, you know, I heard you sick, and um, you know, for everybody who know Pee Wee, who who seen like the you know the things that he can help make happen in Atlanta. Um, especially, you know, the people who like to play cards and stuff, y'all know. People who like to shoot pool and stuff, y'all know in Atlanta, um, you know, everything that's been going on with LaCour and Exclusive Models Magazine. So I just wanted to, you know, give that, you know, give that and just say appreciate you. Um, I think a lot of people, they might know, well, some people, I'm going to say a lot, some people might know who I am, what I do as far as creative direction and, uh, you know, Atlanta and other cities as far as model booking and everything. So, so real quick, Nick, before we get too deep into everything else, because we got some new people in here, just really give them a real introduction on exactly the accolades and the, the, the different things and the different titles that you hold and the accomplishments that you did, just in this last year, because I don't want to give them too much. Just, just last year, because I know last, and that could be too much. Just, all right, the last six months. Wait, no, stop. The last six. Wait, no, 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 no. I'll do what you said. Last year, because we, I mean, everybody, I know everybody's been interrupted by COVID and the COVID-19. And, you know, a lot of these issues have, but, you know, kind of interrupted about 2020. I know a lot of us in 2019, we're talking about what we're going to do in 2020. <laughs> stop, stop. No, no, no. You've been too kind. And, but no, I, we, we have been working. Um, one of the things I say, I got bags, uh, money bag, yo, seven the great and, um, yellow beasy. Uh, that was one of my, that was one of, one of the uh, projects that I had some of the most credit, uh, control over. I appreciate that. That was, uh, that was big working with Leonard. Uh, I've been working with, uh, Larry live out of, um, out of Memphis Def Jam, that whole, you know, that, that whole thing. Um, the Grammy nomination coming in, you know, with the Grammy nomination for uh, Down Bad with Dreamville. Um, definitely the High Hemp. I mean, I just brought that up, but the High Hemp, the High Hemp contest uh, winning, I appreciate that. I work with High Hemp. They've done some sponsorships for me. I really appreciate that. Um, Earth Gang, the Earth Gang tour. Uh, I guess the KLD tour, uh, J. Cole. Um, Linking in with uh you know with uh ATL top twenty, um linking in with Ethiopian soccer tournament in Atlanta. I know people are familiar with the with the soccer tournament. If you you know I mean if you're doing international, not just if you do international traveling, but if you have international friends who participate, who come down to Atlanta for that. Um, Orange Crush in Savannah. Um, people know uh the Royal Peacock in Atlanta. Um, you know we done shoots of. Uh, you know, Fashion Week, uh, Fashion Week New York, um, Fashion Week Paris. I wasn't there, but you know, we got pieces out in Fashion Week Paris. Um, Exclusive Models Magazine getting launched. I mean, it's been less than a year. I mean, it seems like it's been a lot longer, but it's been less than a year since Exclusive Models Magazine. I mean, it's built up a lot in this in less than a year. But Exclusive Models Magazine has been less than a year since you know we initially published that. Um, um, I mean. So, so Quick, Nick, I got I got a real question for you. A lot of people are familiar with me. Um, I just wanted you to give a brief introduction to those who wasn't. But on a real note, because there's been a lot going on, especially in this last week since our last seminar, it's been crazy. It's been hard for us to be going on since our last seminar because I've been, um, you know, sending our recaps and even listening to our, our recaps. Yeah. In the last, the week before the end. And um, there's been a lot of going on. Just two weeks don't sound like a lot. But what do you feel like is our solution now? We here. We is in the sixth month of 2020. Nick, what what can we do to progress, Nick? We got all these accolades. We got all these great people on this seminar. We got all these great people around us. 
We got all these powerful leaders. We got black people that's billionaires now. It's 2020, Nick. 2020, Nick. We got billionaires that's black, Nick. We got people like you. Everybody that's on this seminar that's doing great things out here. That's, that's that's progressing. That's helping other people progress. Not only going for themselves, especially you, Nate. Like you, you have definitely opened so many doors for just people that you won't even know. Right out. And from that point of view, Nate, what can we do, Nate? What what is what do you feel like is one of the solutions? I know because it could go on for days on solutions. What is just one of the solutions? That we can, as as people, not black and white, we're not doing the black and white thing. As people, because we me, we international, so we can't be black and white. So what can we do as people to create a solution or a start to a solution? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean... First off, that's a that's a deep philosophical complex question. I have to say that. And I don't think it's an easy answer. I don't think it's an easy answer. I think a lot of times we want an easy answer, we want a sound bite, we want something that just that we you know we can say easily that we can keep, you know, the we did we tried to do that for crack, with crack is wet. You know what I mean? Uh, we tried to do that with heroin with uh no hope with dope. Um, we try to do it with methamphetamines, uh, not even once. Um, we try to do it with seatbelts, click it or ticket. And I mean, I think some things we can kind of sum up quickly, but what we're talking about, it's not a, it's not a single prong. I don't think it's a single prong approach. I honestly don't. I think that as we, as we try to navigate, and I mean, some of the people you named, I, I know some of the people you named, I actually... I'm with no people, but I'm not a billionaire. I'm not even a millionaire. Um, I think like a lot of people on this call, I'm like a thousand there. I'm a thousand there. And I think I actually, I remember being like a hundred there. <laughs> and <laughs> that wasn't, you know, that long ago. So I think mostly is is fortitude. It's believing in yourself first. It's believing in yourself. Because if you're not believing in yourself, it's hard to convince anybody else to believe in you. I hear a lot of people, I'm trying to be a photographer, I'm trying to model, I'm doing this right. Stop trying. And if you if you want to do it, just do it. I don't, it's really, it doesn't matter. If you're a bodybuilder, if you want to be a bodybuilder, quit trying to be a bodybuilder. Go out there, start lifting some heavy ass weights. If you're not willing, and I mean, you know, excuse me, but seriously, if you're not willing to lift heavy ass weights, you don't need to try to be a bodybuilder. If you're not trying to wake up, if you're not trying to make these changes, then, I mean, there's no point. And I, I'm not saying this to be pessimistic. I'm saying this that primarily being real with ourselves. You know, we got a lot of we got a lot of phrases for keeping it 100, keeping it a thousand, being honest, being true, being in, in tune with your star player, whatever you want to call it. I'm not telling you how to define your life. I mean, I can't. I'm not I'm not in that position. You know, I mean, I'm still trying to get better myself every day. I, I'm constantly, I mean, I'm turning corners, reaching landings. So it's not, I'm not saying I have all the answers, but one thing I know and one thing I try to do is to, you know, believe in myself and I try to link in with other people who are doing good stuff other places. Because, I mean, that's important. If you, if you are a makeup artist or if you want to be a makeup artist, go be a makeup artist. And if you happen to be lucky enough to be a makeup artist for Spike Lee or I mean, even some more realistic, what I know some of the people being working with Tyler Perry. I know a lot of us, y'all done came here with me and, and, and y'all done came with Delano and y'all done came with, I know y'all know about Silas who getting everybody on. <laughs> he getting y'all on these sets. He getting y'all around Tyler Perry. A lot of y'all people have seen Tyler Perry. I know, I don't know who all on the call, everybody, but I do know a lot of y'all, y'all, done, y'all have seen this. Y'all have seen Tyler Perry. Y'all came to Atlanta. Y'all have seen the people work with. Y'all have seen Lil Baby. Y'all have seen Earth Gang. Y'all have seen J. Cole. Y'all have seen money bad yo y'all have seen yo got it y'all have seen i'm not trying to name drop but y'all know y'all come down here y'all cti y'all with us y'all in the club y'all at magic city with me y'all at lacour with all of us y'all at v live um you know even with some of y'all who was on set with v live i know everybody don't go to the i'm not saying everybody attend the strip club for real but y'all know if y'all be in this and 
I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be facetious. I'm not saying that negatively, like, oh, y'all in strip clubs. I don't want, I worked in the strip. I wanted to shake down or anything like that, but I worked in the strip club. And I know a lot of y'all have worked in, in various capacities, whether you at the – we everybody got a pass. And people work parking at a lot of these places. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all have – you know, y'all have been up there. I know a lot of y'all, y'all came up there. Uh, especially people in New York, y'all – y'all know. Y'all know about the Apollo night. Everybody knows about the Apollo night. And I mean, the, the New York people. And I mean, and I appreciate it. And I think that I got to be so, I'm humble by this question. And that's why I'm, I'm kind of rambling. But I feel like we just, we really need to get in tune with our star player. We need to link in with people who are, you know, doing good and who we can help do better. And we need to lift as we climb. And we need to all work. You know, as I mean, I know we're not all, all our engineers, but we all can function and we can use our talents and we can link in as social engineers and we can construct a better world. And if we do that and if we, you know, if we stay focused and if we don't let our emotions, you know, get a hold of us. And, you know, because if, if anything, 2020 showed us, you know, bad things that happen. In the fair clutch circumstances, no telling. You know, but that's that's the time. That's when it is. It's not when everything is going great. Because with a lot of this stuff we doing, a lot of stuff going to go great. But it's not all that. It's not all BET checks. It's not all yacht parties. It's not all, you know, these huge feasts and these these award shows and these tours and these concerts that we have. It's not all that. And a lot of people, they see it. They look at them outside in and they see that and they're like, oh, it's easy. But like anything else, any other, because we I know we've all worked different types of jobs with any of these jobs. Y'all have seen it. It's a lot of stuff with that job, even if you love it, that you don't like to do. And I think it's about, you know, not drudgery, zeal. Like I say, but most of all, if I had to say anything, is what I started with, and that's being in tune with your star player, knowing who you are and you know, doing your best. And that's the best I can say, Delano. I, I don't know if I answer the question the best for everybody, but that's that's the best I can do in my, in my humble. Man, you hit it right on the head. I really Appreciate you, Nick, man, for always tuning in and just really just being a part of the movement as a whole. It's really important um, that we actually get in tune with what we're doing. And I really appreciate you for hopping on the call and just hopping on our previous seminars. And we got, we got a couple of minutes, man. I just want to shout out a few people because we didn't get a chance to really touch lessons on a couple of people. Um, and, you know, we try to respect you know, a lot of people's times. We got a lot of bosses and a lot of entrepreneurs on. So shout out Co Creation. You know, check out her curbside services every Friday and Saturday. You know, shout out to Hardware Pay the Bills, man. You know, make sure you check out their webinars and you check out their apparel. You know, shout out to YS. You know, make sure you shout out, you know, and check out her different products and services. Shout out to Forever Lens Photography. You know, check out his promo deals and you know, the different upcoming products that he got. He's a celebrity um, in international photographer. So, you know, make sure you shout out, you know, make sure you check out his work. Shout out to Jay, Jay McCray Styles. She actually has an interview um, and she'll actually be featured on the show right after this at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Um, shout out to the Loloff, man. We always um, doing different events and activities. And if you're in the Atlanta area, make sure you check out um the, the low loft area if you need a space or you know event space to you know do any events or activities you know shout out real deal productions they have a bogo deal going on right now um for a lot of you know entrepreneurs and um you know any um any um uh, influencers you know that need any content or production shout out player productions um my dog q um, we actually were just talking earlier, you know, shout out him. I know he wanted to be on. Um, and if you, again, if you don't have stars, make sure you download stars. We have P Valley that's going to be premiering on July 12th. Make sure you tune in to that. It's a lot of black power um, and a lot of, you know, just independent productions and a lot of independent entrepreneurs that was a part of that production. So make sure you guys support that. Uh, make sure you guys support Jug. Um, that's going to be an upcoming short film um and actually nick got surge protector that's coming out right yeah surge protect that i've been working on a uh, surge protect a couple more uh, you know 1029 story surge protect 
and um, you know another project that I've been working on. It. And, but but a lot another thing I've been doing, I've been building reels. If anybody in Atlanta y'all looking for you know acting roles, speaking acting roles, like some of the people who've gotten on P Valley, some of the people who's on you know Fall of Grace, y'all people who you know who came down and y'all locked in, people on uh, what's Herb got it tells. Um, you know, all y'all people came down. I appreciate y'all people. I, I, I appreciate everybody who, who don't work with uh, me down here, especially um, in Atlanta, because, you know, a lot of the shooting we're doing is in, uh, in Atlanta. And um, um, uh, EMM Investment Group. Um, Got to give a shout out to EMM Investment Group. A lot of the stuff we do <laughs> without the money, I mean, without, you know, you know what I mean, the money. To do a lot of this stuff, we won't be able to do that. So I got to give a shout out to EMM Investment Group. He already said the low loft, but definitely the, the low loft. Um, the low loft. Murph Park Fairgrounds, I know y'all know Murph Park Fairgrounds for a lot of the bigger events. Um, Bullshit Fest, a bonfire ATL. I know some of y'all people came down here to bonfire ATL and y'all have uh, supported me at bonfire ATL at, uh, at Murph Park Fairgrounds. Um, but EMM Investment Group, without an EMM Investment Group, we wouldn't really be able to do a lot of, uh, you know, what we, uh, you know, what we're doing down here. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to give it back to 